What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have another Keyforge Age of Ascension deck unboxing. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone watching the previous videos. They are in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Lots more deck unboxing videos there and Keyforge tournament videos with commentary. So go check that stuff out. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's get into the deck here. All right. Put this guy open. Let's make sure we're opening it the right way. Oh, it's upside down. Every now and then there's they come out a little, a little backwards here. It's kind of fun. Uh, so we have Sanctum, Logos, and Mars. And Mawson, the totally opportunistic. <laughs> Let's open this guy up here. Okay. And no Mavericks or Legacies. Uh, let's throw that up in the shot there. All right, so we're starting off with Sanctum. So we don't have an Untamed this time, which is nice. Uh, start off with the rare out of Sanctum. One of the better rares in, in the new set uh, out of Sanctum. It is Proclamation 346E. While your opponent does not control creatures from three different houses, their key cost plus two Amber. So good stall card, increasing your opponent's key cost, a way to delay your opponent from forging. We have another Sanctum rare here. It's Martyr's End. Gain an Amber off this action. Play, destroy any number of friendly creatures. Gain one Amber for each creature destroyed this way. Sigil of Brotherhood Artifact with an Amber. Uh, allows you to cheat and use your Sanctum guys on a non-Sanctum turn. Uh, being Omni. We have Grey Rider. Great creature out of Sanctum to power. Human Monk, deploy it anywhere on the battle line. And it has a fight, play, or reap ability. You may ready and fight with an neighboring creature. And we got two of those, which is awesome. So we can get the little combo going, possibly, uh, where we can trigger them off of each other. Uh, then we have Smite, some house cheating. Play, ready and fight a friendly creature with a friendly creature. It can be anybody, it doesn't have to be Sanctum, and deal two damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. So good way to kind of level out the board. Mark the Marked. This guy has five power, one armor. He's a spirit and a knight. After he prevents damage with his armor, you capture one for each damage just prevented. Then we have a hollow shield. Meh. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not bad. Uh, has the action choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. That chosen creature cannot be dealt damage, but it only can be used on a sanctum turn. But then again, we have some house cheating. So you can do this effect onto something out of, I don't know, Mars and then drop a... Uh, what was the guy I was just saying? Grey Rider. Grey Rider is the card. Uh, drop him down beside the creature and then use him to fight and not get hit. So the other card we have here is a Chally the Safeguard for two. Deploy with Taunt. Got Blinding Light to slow your opponent down. Gain an Amber off this action. Choose a house. Stun each creature that hosts. And we got two. And then to help keep your board nice and strong, we have a ball and the Armor Smith. Other friendly creatures get plus one armor. And he has the action for the remainder of the turn. Other friendly creatures get plus one armor. I don't think I've ever done that, but with Merrick the Mark, you might actually use that action to beef him up before you ram into somebody. Just to capture more Amber. So that is Sanctum. And stick around to the end of the video. We will look at the whole deck in, uh, if you haven't seen these videos before, we'll take them in the Burger Tokens Deck Analyzer and Dex of Keyforge and kind of look at the stats of the overall deck, kind of get a good picture of it. Also, once I scan the deck in, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out there. All right, let's get to Mars. It's the Yixlix Stim Ranger. Uh, this guy's a rare, 4-2, two. two armor in Mars. Here we go. Fight, deal two damage to a creature and move it to either flank of its controller's battle line. Then we have another uh, rare. I do like this one a lot. Uh, Total Recall. Gain an Amber off it. Play for the, for each friendly cre uh Sorry, for each friendly ready creature. So it doesn't have to be Mars. You gain an Amber. So you could have a big board of ready dudes. You gain an Amber for all of them. But then you got to return them all to your hand. And then I assume you hope you have a lot of Mars. And then you just play the Mars back out. But uh, yeah, good way to get some Amber bursting for your third key maybe. Uh, but it kind of sucks when you have Zorg as one of your creatures who's going to come into play stun. So when you play him back, he's going to come in stunned, obviously, before the fight. You can stun creatures Zorg fights in each of his neighbors. We actually have two Zorgs. Uh, to slow your opponent down, we have a Containment Field upgrade. After this creature is used, destroy it. Uh, another creature coming into play stun is the Dominator. Ugh. Uh, so yeah, that Total Recall turn could be pretty harsh. Uh, but yeah, this guy keeps your board nice and juicy. And having these big dudes... Uh, like the Dominator and the Zorgs uh, with Grey Riders in the deck. That I like. I didn't expect Mars to be where the big dudes were at in this deck. Um, but we have some more. Mars with armor seems to be the theme of the deck. We got two Beam Bucklers. Love this guy. Uh, this is great to have him come back into play because you get to deal two damage to a creature and move it to either flank of its controller's battle line. 
To help my Martians with more amber, uh, or more armor, sorry, we have Fixed Finger. Uh, I sorry, Ix Ixelixiari. I can't, whatever. All right, uh, he's elusive. Each other Martian creature, including your opponent's Martians, uh, get plus one armor. Not Mars, but Martian traded, as you see here. Martian trait. Okay, Collector Worm, who's not a Martian, is a beast. And when he fights, he archives a creature. That Collector Worm fights. If that creature leaves your archives, put it into its owner's hand instead. Ah, here we go. With returning all the creatures to hand, this card might be a little better. We got Carpet Floxum. Get an Amber. Play. If there are no friendly creatures in play, deal four damage to each creature. So after you total recall your guys all back up, you can play this down, hit your opponent's creatures, hopefully level their board a little bit, and then drop your Mars creatures back down. And we got Agent Human. He's elusive. Choose a friendly non-Mars creature and an enemy non-Mars creature. Stun the chosen creatures. So I really like this Mars lineup. Uh, he's getting the buff off Fixed Finger, so he's getting an armor out of that. Uh, let's see how many Martians we got. So that can be affected by Fixed Finger. We got Agent Human. One, two, three. Four. So we got four. We can get the Stim Ranger up to three armor. Ooh, boy. That's good stuff. All right, let's jump on to Logos here. Uh, this is a rare you don't see much of. Or at least I haven't seen much of in the decks I've got. Fetch Drones. Uh, it's an item. Action. Discard the top two cards of your deck. For each Logos card discarded this way, a friendly creature captures two. So some Amber Control and Logos. I, I didn't even realize this really was a card. I'm sure I've seen it. I just didn't... I, maybe never seen it work. So it didn't really register. Uh, a little bit of Amber Control here. We have Interdimensional Graph. Hopefully we've got a Binate Rupture. Hopefully... Uh, so you play this, if your opponent forges a key on their next turn, they must give you the remaining Amber. At least you get an Amber pip off it, so it's not completely situational. An awesome card for the Amber gain is Eureka. It's an Alpha. You play it, you gain an Amber off the top of the card, then you gain two more off the ability, and then you archive two random cards from your hand. Then we got ZYX Researcher, Human Scientist. Play, archive the top card of your deck, or the top card of your discard pile. Tight Mechanic, making keys cost one less amber while he's on the flank so he's making keys cheap is what i'm trying to say uh six power no armor cyborg scientist now for some board control we got standardized testing hurts you too though play destroy each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power of course you choose when you want to play this or discard it or hold it and we have two of them so a little bit of board control there we got professor sutterkin uh he's got the uh, reap draw card for each friendly logos creature we'll take a look how many logos creatures we have in a second uh, we got Poke, gaining amber, deal damage, deal damage to an enemy creature. If this damage destroys a creature, draw a card. Then we got Pip Pip, after an enemy creature reaps, stun it. And then the last two cards are double lab work. So we're gaining amber and archiving a card. Love to see lab works. Great versatile card. It's getting you through your deck a lot faster. So uh, let's see here. We got one creature in Pip Pip, Professor Sutterkin. That's two, three, four. Only four creatures in Logo, so Professor Sutterkin's not really drawn too much if he even survives around. But lots of Amber Pips I see here. That's good stuff. Okay, so let's jump on over to the web apps, take a look at the deck overall. Okay, so we got the deck scanned in. You can see it up here behind me in the Master Vault. If you want to take a closer look, like I said, the link will be in the description below. Let's jump on over to the Keyforge Deck Analyzer over at Burger Tokens. Link in the description below for that. Uh, Alright, you see the breakdown here. 18 creatures. Not bad, pretty average. Uh, power distribution though, two. It seems to be the most popular power level on my creatures. So eight, they're very low powered. But we have a nine, two sevens, a six, and a five. So I mean, we have some big bodies in there, but lots, like 13 of them are four or below. You want the five or higher as much as possible, I guess, to, to do some board control and not just get beat down. All right, we got 13 actions, four artifacts, one upgrade. Let's check. Bonus Amber. Not as much as I thought it would be. Only 11 cards with 11 Amber. Amber Burst. Only three cards. Eureka, Interdimensional Graph, Total Recall, and Martyr's End. Let's see. Key Control, only the Proclamation. Yeah, I was hoping a little bit a little bit more of Key Control, a little bit more uh, Amber Control. But all we have is Interdimensional Graph for Stealing and Fetch Drones and Merrick the Mark for Capture. Quite a bit of Creature Removal. Not bad. Let's check the synergies. Grey Rider plus Grey Rider, that's all we have here. So let's check it on in, over in Dexa Keyforge. A 75 SAS at the time of recording, plus 6 synergy, minus 2 anti synergy. And the Amber Control, 4.5. Yeah, pretty low. 17.5 on expected Amber, pretty low. No artifact control. Boo. 14.5 creature control, though, is pretty high. 
10 or above is what uh, I like to look for, um, it, depending on what the deck's doing. But I mean, 14.5 is pretty good. Deck manipulation, not too much there. And 8.8 .8 is the effective creature power. That's pretty good. 50 arc. And the averages, we got average creatures, average actions, average upgrades. And where's the one difference? Why is average? Oh, average artifacts is four. In, in or sorry, our deck, our deck has four artifacts. Average is three. So pretty much an average spread on the deck there. Not the craziest deck. I like the Sanctum lineup. Uh, seems pretty cool. And the, I don't know, it's an interesting deck. Uh, it has some good cards in it that I, that I like to play with. It's just seeing the stats of the low amber control, low expected amber. I don't really expect that. I guess you're just trying to control your opponent's board while you're slowly uh, getting to the goal. Fortune three keys. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this deck uh, down in the comments below. And I'd like to hear what you think about it. Is there any combos or anything that's popping out to you here that's pretty crazy? Uh, either way, I definitely play with all my decks, so I'll definitely give this one a run and see how it works. Uh, but yeah, thanks all for watching. Uh, we'll have more Keyforge deck unboxings coming up to the channel, so make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.